In this video, I'm going to be discussing complementary angles. Well, what are complementary angles? If the sum of the measures of two positive angles is 90 degrees, the angles are called complementary and the angles are complements of each other. So in part A of this problem, for an angle measuring 67 degrees, we need to find the measure of its complement. So to find the complement, you just take 90 degrees and subtract the given angle of 67 degrees. Well, 90 degrees minus 67 degrees is 23 degrees. So the complement of an angle that measures 67 degrees is 23 degrees. Now in part B, I need to find the measure of each angle. We're told we have complementary angles with measures of 6x plus 5 degrees and 2x minus 11 degrees. So to find the measure of each angle, we have to add up our two angles and they will add up to 90 degrees. So I'm going to get 6x plus 5 degrees plus 2x minus 11 degrees. And since they're complementary, they have to sum to 90 degrees. Now, before I solve this simple linear equation, I want to point one thing out. This problem was given to us in words, but it could have been given to us in picture format. Something like this here, where we have a right angle as indicated by this symbol here. Remember, a right angle measures 90 degrees, and this right angle is split into two parts. And how would we solve this problem? We'd take 6x plus 5 degrees, add it to 2x minus 11 degrees, and it would add up to 90 degrees, the right angle. So I would have to solve exactly the same equation. Now in solving this equation, it gets cumbersome writing all the degree symbols, so I'm not going to do it in the next steps. I'm just going to remember when I get to my answer, my answers are in degrees. So do I need these parentheses? No, I just have plus one in front of each of the parentheses, so I don't need to write them. So I have 6x plus 5 plus 2x minus 11 equals 90. Like terms on the left-hand side, 6x and 2x is 8x and 5 minus 11 is negative 6 equals 90. Now to isolate the 8x, add 6 to both sides, and I get 8x equals 90 plus 6 is 96. Last step, divide both sides by 8. These 8s reduce, I get x equals 96 divided by 8 is 12. So I found a value of x, but remember this problem asked me to find the measure of each angle. So I'm going to have to take my value of x and plug it into each of these expressions. So my first angle was 6x plus 5 degrees. So I'm going to get 6 times x is 12 plus 5. 6 times 12 is 72 plus 5, 72 plus 5 is 77, and remember, I'm in degrees, so 77 degrees. And the second angle was 2x minus 11 degrees, so that's 2 times x is 12 minus 11, 2 times 12 is 24 minus 11, 24 minus 11 is 13 degrees. So the angles I'm looking for are 77 degrees and 13 degrees. 
and double check to make sure we got this correct. Does 77 plus 13 add up to 90 degrees? Yes, so we know we have the problem correct.